out of all the, um, in your 18 years of people you've met, who's the most inspirational teacher that you've had that's made you grow? Well, it's normally, it's weird, isn't it? Because I meet all them monks and holy people and that. But I still like people that are drug addicts that don't take drugs. You know, it really affects me when I meet people that are f***ed. Because... I do truly believe, even though that we are individual, that there is something sort of universal expressing itself through us, a kind of oneness, and that you experience greatness quite casually. I met this man once in New Orleans at a 12-step group. He was like dirty. You know when someone's worn a vest too long and it's maybe got some rings on it and like it's tea stained or whatever, and he was wearing a hat made out of denim or sort of like that hat, actually, your hat. But it was all f because he's nice. He was like, a, you know, a big beard. And... Um, it was in New Orleans, you know, New Orleans were gays getting fucked over by the weather and things, isn't it? And like, um, I met him there, and he very clearly and passionately explained to me, he goes, um, he was off to do some homeless thing, like volunteering. And he said, ah, oh, Russell, the money and the fame and the celebrity, the craving after people's attentions, these are the crumbs, he said in life. These are the crumbs, money, success. I want to be at the banquet the banquet. The banquet is to love one another. The banquet is to serve one another. See, this moment, that man is hitting me with the energy of God. You see it everywhere. You may get up early one morning and go into the ocean and it's 5 a.m. and as you walk into the ocean, you see some kids over there. You think, I hope those kids don't see me. Oh God, I wonder if they recognize me from the TV and how famous I can be. And then the ocean just gently sort of knocks you over on your ass and you feel God laughing at you. They're like a big, gentle, playful, lolloping thing or you'll be in a homeless shelter in Skid Row, Los Angeles and you get down on the floor with all the children and all you can see is children's faces bundling you they don't even know they're poor they don't know nothing about poverty or homelessness and their faces all that you can see is smiling laughing faces your whole vision a collage of God tumbling in on you God experiencing God God awakening God in you the oneness experiencing itself again and again through time in the Bhagavad Gita it says ah always this way and after Krishna has spent all that time on the battlefield site in the Gita, he says, he says, Arjuna, after all these stories, all this complexity, take Krishna, take God over all of the armies, take Krishna, take Krishna over all of the opportunity and wealth in the world. At the end, Arjuna says, oh, I remember, I remember. You know what it is when you hear something that's true. It's like, oh yeah, there's that thing. I knew that. I knew that already. We're just sort of remembering it. You know, that's what that feeling is when something passes between us. It's the thing realizing itself, in expressing itself impersonally, collectively, beyond the illusion of separation of the individual. I cannot remember what the question was. <laughs> But uh, it's everyone, it's all of us. I, you know, we don't, don't worship false idols, and all idols are false, everything impermanent, everything temporary, everything going. It's not the rustleness that matters, thank fuck. It's the unrustleness. it's the thing that's, you know, Russell, just a bloke from Essex, West Ham socks, would fuck anything, would smoke anything. But something's coming through because of the program, because of the program, it's all falling away, and there's something there, there's something else there that's bigger and better. So it's all of us. I recognize that I try to negotiate myself into positions where I look good, where I get to be on a stage, but this is the best I am, man. This is the best I am. You wait till I'm in the fucking car, scared. Oh, fuck, what am I going to do now? Who's going to look after me? Will I be able to get to sleep? Will I have a wank? Fuck. Ah. You know, I need to be plugged into God continually.